What's up guys, it's Mike back again today, MF Ape. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Hope everyone's doing very well. Right, today guys, we've got a single coil RDA stroke RSA. This is a little squonky natty from Coil Art and it's called the D Pro Mini. And here it is. I've got it sitting on top of the recurve squonk device by Mike Papes and Watofo. And the review for this can be found on the channel already. But uh, this atomizer is 22 millimeters in diameter and it's made from stainless steel, single coil only build deck. So without further ado, we'll go down low. I'll show the packaging that the D Pro Mini comes in. We're going to throw a little build in it today and put some wick in it too. And then we'll come back up top and I'll tell you what I really think of the D Pro Mini by Coil Art. Okay, see you down there in a bit. Right, we're down at the table. Here's the Coil Art D Pro Mini. Right, here's the box that it comes in. Usual Coil Art packaging here. So we've got the sleeve and then we've got the hard cardboard box. So you just have to shake it to open it. It's quite easy to undo. So inside the box you'll find some organic cotton and a fuse claps and core there, which is a nice touch. Uh, I think we're going to put this in today and see what it tastes like. you also find a QC card, that's good. A little pull-out instruction manual. There's an Allen key. And we've got a bag here with some extra drip tips in. So these are 510 fitting tips. So you've got the short stubby one there and we've got the mouth to lung style one here. And the actual one on the that comes with it, it's this really low profile one. They're all 510 fitting. And also in the bag you get your usual O-rings and spare hex style grub screws and we've got the regular gold plated 510 pin in which it does come installed with but I put the squonk pin in. Right so here is the D Pro Mini then. So as I've just noted earlier on we've got the 510 fitting drip tits with a couple of O-rings on them there. So quick look inside the top so there's no O-ring inside of here that just plonks in like so. One piece top cap on this. On the bottom we have D Pro and designed by Coil Art usual markings and the gold plated squonk pin installed there, D Pro Mini on the top. So if you just look around the top here we've got D Pro Mini uh, etched in, it's all in black so that's very nice so it's uh, very minimalistic. We'll just put it on the Atti stand now. Purchased this the other day from Dilly Gaff Atti Stands over on Facebook if you want to check it out. Now I did ask for the matte finish because I thought it would be less reflectant in the light but you can get a shinier version. But uh, yeah that's what that looks like. So let's just take that top cap off. Quick look inside we've got a lovely bit of doming going on there. We've got uh, holes there on each side for your airflow which is adjustable. But just have a look at the deck now. We've got the two O-rings, one on the top, one on the bottom. There you can just see the hexile grub scoot. We've got that on the other side too. Holes through the actual base here. That's for your airflow. And if you just look on the other side, so you can just see it goes through your posts. So this is basically a postless build deck, this one. So you'll have one leg in here, one over there. This is the positive block because you can see it's surrounded by the, the peak insulator. This one is therefore your negative. Now the, the one thing with this, it would have been good if they'd put these holes on uh, both sides because basically you have to have the orientation just facing this way. So that's a, a little con for me. But if you look on the side there, we've got some nice little cutouts so you can rest your like coiling rod because obviously this is a single coil it's just going to be sitting in here so it does make building a joy with this particular deck so if I just push the top cap back on here and you'll notice we've got the adjustable airflow so you can have one two or three holes open and what you adjust on one will be the same on the other side 
Right, for today's build, we're going to use the fuse collapsant that came with it. Now, this says it's handmade uh, by Corlup, so I'm interested to see how, what these taste like. We've got 2 times 26 gauge, a 40 gauge outer wrap, nichrome 80, 3 millimeter inner diameter, and it comes to around 0.3 ohms. Right, of course, we're going to use the coily tool today because this is a post list style deck. So, I've done a few builds with this uh, and I want to have it at three millimeters, the core, uh, the leg length, because this is a tiny little 22 millimeter atomizer, this one. So just poke it through the bottom, snip it like so. Do the same on the other one. And the result is a perfectly cut three millimeter leg length so this is called the coily tool you can get it personalized in your own name if you so wish uh, so check out the Facebook page and the Facebook group but you can buy these everywhere now UK EU America and Australia and further further afield as well so yeah a really good little contraption this one and they're not expensive either Right, so just rest the coiling rod on like that. Hex style screws. Really simple, this build deck to build on. You don't get it any easier than this one. Screws nice and tight. And we'll just have a look look through here to see how we're doing. Might just try and layer it slightly. Should be about right. I want it to hit the bottom underside of the coil. So let's put it on a mod now. Right, there, there you have it, it's going from the inside out, so that's what you want. So let's put some cotton in there. Twist it as you pull it on through. Right, and there you have it. So we just need to put some juice in it now. Right, we've got some strawberry and cream here in the uh, Van Uwe, uh, refiller bottle, which comes in very handy. Right, just see it in squonk mode. Right, and there you have it. You don't need much of a press for this, and, and it fills up very nicely indeed. So, put your top cap back on. And there we have it. That's the Depro Mini, rebuilt and re-wicked. So, let's go back up top, and I'll tell you what I think about it. Right, we're back up top, guys. We have the Depro Mini by Coilart. Right, what do I think of it then? Well, first of all, this is a really dinky little uh, authentic RDA, this one. Now, if I put it up against the Tiger Tech Morph, now I got this one near enough a year ago, and it's a 24 millimeters uh, granted, but it's predominantly a single coil RDA, and you can see it's, a, it's minute in comparison to that. And I'll just put it up against the, the recurve with the 22mm cap on it. And as you can see, it's still shorter than that one too. 
And really, I think where Call Out the Game was uh, designing it on like some of the high end type of Addies you get. Uh, this is Le Concorde uh, style atomizer I've got here. And we've got the Haku Vena style one here. And so it's definitely styled uh, upon those types of atomizers. Also, you've got the Skyfall uh, style RDA, which I've also reviewed on the channel recently. But uh, yeah, they're definitely gearing this one towards flavour. But what does it perform like there? Right, before we get on to that, we'll go on to the fit and finish. This is really well machined, this one. The top gap comes off very nicely. The O-ring tolerance is a really nice on this. It's not too hard work, but they're just about uh, like perfect for me. Uh, we've got a lovely bit of doming going on inside of this top cap too. And uh, yeah, so the build deck, it's very well machined too. One thing to note though, the hextile grub screws, they're not the strongest in the world, but they are adequate. Uh, so yeah, no dramas really there. But yeah, overall, the fit and finish of this and the build quality is very good then. Right, so I've got a couple of niggly points with this little device though, uh, like I normally do. The drip tips that come with it, uh, there's nothing wrong with them, but uh, I just don't like the, the look of them really. Uh, this is like the, the mid-style one. We've got the... The mouth to lung style one there. It's a bit snug that one is. We've also got the the low profile ones, but I just don't think the bore on it's quite wide enough for my liking, especially if you're like using it at uh, higher wattages. But um, if you're using like a single round wire build and you're trying in mouth to lung mode, then definitely this drip to will work for you. But I like using my own one with a slightly bigger bore to it, like this red one I've got here. And uh, yeah, I just think it works a bit better for my style of vaping. But let's have a quick toot on it then. Right, I've closed one of the airflow holes off and we've got two airflows open on either both sides even. Right, get lovely smooth airflow from this. We'll just put it fully open for you. Give it a little squonk. Nice and smooth again with it fully open. And I'll just put it on one airflow hole open now. Obviously there you're getting a more restrictive vape, but it still is quite smooth. But the optimum airflow for me is with just two of those holes open. It just gives the overall best flavor for this. But uh, what about that flavor though? This really is a good flavorful RTA, uh, RDA, this one is. It, uh, it really is on a par with some of my um, replica RDAs that I've uh, reviewed. And uh, the Vena, we got the Concorde, the Skyfall, the, the Supersonic, all of them have got top-notch flavor. And this one is definitely uh, near enough matching them, in my opinion. So yeah, big thumbs up to coil art uh, for this one it uh, really is a cracker in my opinion so let's just give it one more vape yeah it's just a cracking lovely smooth airflow cracking flavor and a overall great vape experience you get from this now there is one other little niggle i've got with it now the build deck is super easy to build on, but I would have preferred it if they had uh, two more holes in it. Not to do it in dual core mode, but just so if you had your orientation of your core the other way around, it would have been better because some of the ones that I bought, like my um, Fuse Claptons and uh, Exotic Cools, they've got the legs the other way around, so I can't use them on this Atti. So that's just a, a little niggling point for this uh, atomizer. But apart from that, like it's, 
cheap as chips too. I think you can pick them up for about £19 in the UK. Now I got it from 3FA, I believe, in China for about, uh, I think it was $20, something like that. So yeah, it's a real bargain for that price and it does get a huge thumbs up from me. So that's the end of the review, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a little thumbs up. And uh, for anyone new that stumbled across the channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing and make sure you hit the little bell notification to be notified of my latest videos. Now, I've got my own website too. It's mf8.co.uk. And you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.